hello guys and welcome to so with married if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and turn on the notification bell so in this video we're going to talk about how to make a beautiful four pieces gown or you can also apply this method in making a four pieces skirt so i have my fabric right here i've already cut it out for the front part of my four pieces gown and i've turned it front side or rather i say right side of the fabric facing the right side of the fabric and i'm going to fold all over again okay so you can apply this technique to making a skirt or a gown whatever applies to your own case but stop wait let's see how have i gotten here so far okay how have i gotten here now this is what i did i got the fabric the fabric given to me is a six yards fabric and i cut it into two and i kept three yards aside for the upper part of my gown and the sleeve and the scarf in case the customer needs a scarf why the down part is also three yards now how did i know that i'm going to use three yards for the down part that's the four pieces how did i do this i had to apply calculation yes mathematics have to come in and trust me it's very simple so just your hip circumference multiply by 2 or 2.5 or 3 it will give you your fullness that you need and for me in this case i did 44 inches multiplied by 2.5 it's 2.5 that i used and i got 110 inches so this 110 inches for me to know how many yards it is i divided it by 36 inches to give me three yards that's how i know that it's three yards i'm going to use for the down part of my gown now how do i know how to divide these three yards between the front and the back side i divide it into not equal parts but two parts but not equal the the front is less than the back so the back was two inches more than the front all right now this is my front we're going to start marking now and I'm marking half inch at this point to create my margin and this half inch can be used to attach the upper part to the lower part. So from that marking is where I'm going to take my measurement from and I'm going to mark from waist to hip point. Waist to hip point is 9 inches, I mark it. Waist to knee point is supposed to be 20. You take out 2 or 3 inches to avoid clashes when you're working. Okay. Then the waist to the full length. I cannot get that directly so I take out my half length yes you can take out your half length my half length here is 17 inches then with that you can be able to get your full length straightforward without any brain teasing okay <laughs> so I mark that and whatever that is left there I'm going to use it to attach my fabric to the lining later on so i'm going to extend these markings again to this other side so that when i draw my line it's going to be straight and i will have minimal error minimal error all right we're going to square up the lines now we're squaring up the lines please do not forget to subscribe to this channel please do not forget to like share our videos okay so when we're done with this the next thing we're going to do is to put our measurement okay what measurement are we going to be putting in this case all right good question for this moment we're going to be using hip circumference divided by eight because we're working with a four pieces dress and we're folding in eight that's why we're using eight and for the hip 44 divided by 8 I get 5.5 and the second friends from the waist also you divide it by 8 whatever it gives you that's what you'll be using for your waist measurement okay so with this now we move forward for the waist I have 5 inches added 0 0.5 inches to it to make up for my seam allowance okay and the same thing applies to my hip so whatever i got i added i marked it there so 5.5 inches is total of what i marked for the waist come down to the hip 
The same thing applies. Your hip circumference divided by 8 plus 0 0.5 inch. Or you can add 1 inch if you desire. Okay. So whatever you mark for the hip, you're going to take it down to the knee line. Then after bringing down the measurement, from that point, you're going to remove 1 inch from it. Or you can make it 0 0.5. Um, 75 inches depends on whom you're working with how free they want the dress to be and or how tight they want the dress to be so we're linking up the line at this point I'm linking up the lines to create my shape okay so we link up the waist down to the hip the hip down to the knee the knee down to the length of your dress okay please do not forget to subscribe to our channel do not forget to turn on the notification bell like share this video all right so what's the next thing you're going to do i am trying to cross check my measurement to make sure that they are accurate because you do not want an error on your dress anytime anywhere not at all okay so the next thing you're going to do is to come to the the down part you're going to fold in now the reason for folding in is when you cut you're going to have enough fullness you don't you won't have to have errors when you're sewing this is really necessary for skirts like this or gowns along okay because that two inches that's there we're going to be using it to turn in the lining when we're sewing now i was almost done cutting then i remembered what we didn't do the straight panel okay if you cut at that curve if you cut the curve the way we've cut for all the pieces you're likely to have error okay so it is usually advised or it is best technique that you take the measurement you have for the hip up to the waist first if you you mark it for the waist also so i'm linking up that measurement now the difference is just 0 0.5 inches wow, what's the difference <laughs> trust me there's a big difference by the time you start sewing you're going to see the effect okay so this is just to create a straight panel for the center part of your dress okay now when i turn this open now turning open now we only have two pieces of course it's just four pieces dress yes and we have two pieces which is correct for what we're working with right okay so now see the straight panel i want the straight panel to be at the other side facing me so and this marked area will be the end of the clue that means that other side is my center point all right why this other side i'm marking right now is my side that will shape in my body so i marked one inch out of that to create a shape that i want for my client okay so if it depends on how tight or how loose you want your dress to be so that point like i said is my center point now and this point will be your side panel that's why that center point is now your straight panel or it bears your straight panel all right so the next thing we're doing now is the back yes we're going to cut the back now making this four pieces um, panel dress is really all four panel dress four pieces panel or four panel pieces <laughs> is quite easy to make okay this is the back now for the back remember we said that it is two inches more than the front 
so i place that same front on top of it and you can see that by the fold part the back is about an inch more than the front okay you can see it's about an inch more than the front so all you have to do is to place it correctly and the point our opened point that the point that we've already cut is going to be where our zipper allowance will be yes just look forward to that you see that soon so i just want to trim off that edge this will make me to have a precision later as i mark okay so after trimming that edge the next thing i'm going to do is to make my fold you know i have fold from the front and fold from the back piece okay the fold from the front and fold from my back i'm going to make them equal all right because our zipper is not going to come from that point do not get misled okay it's going to come from one piece of our center point you know our center point is cut open remember it's a four piece dress all right so that's what i did i made my folded point equal now you can see this is the point we are going to add our zipper allowance yes this is the point we're going to add our zipper allowance so what we're going to do is just to mark one inch one inch away from our markings okay not the marking but the cut all right because the there's a marking for the shape and there's a marking for the straight panel area okay all right so we just mark one inch away from our cut for the front piece okay so we're linking up the line we're linking up the points now so make sure you link up the points correctly you can see how i am following it according to the curve okay follow it according to the curve until you get to that end all right so when you're done with this the next thing you're going to do now is to cut so you can see that's the point we are going to have a zipper that's what i'm trying to tell you all right so we're cutting now so keep cutting keep cutting keep cutting all right when you're done cutting you are going to open it up now careful before you shape you know literally we have the straight panel now okay so before you shape make sure to open up so thank god we have our front piece so i just placed my front piece on top to make the work easier so placing it on top you can see we have about one inch to each side that if i have placed it correctly at the center point of the back or from the center point of the back rather so but that's not how it's supposed to be so you have to shift it to the end that is going to be by the side because the place that only needs the zipper is your center point for the back remember it is a four pieces dress a four panel dress all right so when you take everything to one side you can find out that you have a total of two inches for your zipper allowance so i am notching that point so i don't lose sight of it so you're going to notch those points and you can see at this 
point now we have the points we need to shape them out okay so at this point in time and at this moment we are done so when you open up take the centers to the centers the sides to the sides and check out all the checkables and note all the notables and so are the sewables and get everything correctly <laughs> you find out that you are on the right track when you're done sewing so thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for for your strong support thank you for always being here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video like the video tell people about my channel and don't forget to drop your comments below for videos that you want me to share and your ideas and contribution and suggestions are all welcome thank you for joining me in this video see you in the next video bye bye